Welcome Leo. Okay, so we're going to look at the next two weeks for you and see what is going on and what it is that we can potentially help you with. Okay, we're using the mystical reading cards here and the muse tarot and also shadow healing. Okay, so let's get into it, Leo. Okay, let's see what's going on for you. Get these a quick shuffle. Leo. Okay, Leo. First card up is Experience Rebirth. Experience Rebirth. You know, I feel like, Leo, this is, this is about you seeing yourself, your past self, um, in a different light, to be honest with you. It's sort of like, I feel like it's a matter of coming away from that person that you were, and stepping into the person that you are. Because I feel like they're two different people. And I feel as though you have a an idea of who that person was. Okay. Or, uh, yeah. Who that person was. And I feel like for some of you, you feel like maybe that person still is. And so I feel as though... There's a great importance to be aware of the distinction of who you were and who you are now. Because I don't feel like they're the same people, to be honest with you. I feel like your life is so different now that it's... it's yeah, there's, I don't know, there's so much of a, a line in between what was and what is that you could say it's two separate lives almost, okay? But yeah, tell me more about Experience Rebirth for Leo, please. We have the Six of Voices. Oh, I love these cards. They're so cool. Six of Voices. Okay. And one more card for Experience Rebirth for Leo, please. Not too many cards. I think we'll start with the Six of Voices, though. Six of Voices. This is you needing to walk away from who you were, I feel like there's there's some kind of power that you allow your old self to have over you. To be honest with you, Leo, I feel as though this is something you need to step away from because in this card here, this this person here who is so much bigger than this one um, is bowing down to this one here, and yet what could happen is this person here could easily just get one finger and flick that person off their hand and yet this person here seems to have so much power over them and I honestly feel like this is the past you and it's sort of like I feel like there's one more thing for you to let go of or or um maybe not one more thing but one more it's like or, or what I'm seeing is like there's Throughout your life and potentially throughout your healing journey, um, there's been categories of different things in your life, okay? Maybe things that have happened to you, experiences that you have had, okay? The one thing that you haven't had experience with, Leo, is this rebirth of yourself. And whether this is about you recreating yourself or, no, I don't feel like it is. I don't feel like it is. I think it's about you seeing you now because it's like, Leo, this is the old you, like I've said, right? But you still see this 
is all of you, but it's so small. It's such a tiny part. And um, and this is the part that you're allowing to have power over you. You know, and maybe that was simply through not being aware of that, you know. So, yeah, let's have a look, though. One more card for experience rebirth. Here we go. The Hermit. The Hermit. Oh, I love this. Um, I love this because I feel like the sun is coming up from the darkness here, Leo. I really do. And the interesting thing is, with the sun coming up, you see there's a tree here for shelter. Like, you've got everything that you need, okay? In the desert here, generally, you wouldn't even have a tree to seek shelter under. But you have a tree here. So, I feel as though there's some sort of awakening happening within you, Leo. Some sort of awakening I love this. I love this. Assimilate life experience. Interesting. Here, um, this card here that has come up has the number 12 here. And in this card here, also the number 12. So this may be significant for some of you. Um, yeah, this is... Very interesting. I, I do feel, Leo, that you have walked walked a life, like I have said before, walked a life in different categories of being this person, that person, and another. And I feel as though it's been a it's a matter of maybe in order to to actually put this one to rest, it could be a matter of looking at all those and seeing the common denominator in all of these realities that you've had in your life. And the fact of the matter is, Leo, that you have been that common de denominator. However, there could be other things. The other thing I'm drawn to suddenly is the cherub up here, ready to shoot its arrow. Okay, and um, there's sort of like a defense, though, to that. Oh, wow, I'm getting so much from this card. There's a defense. Maybe to, for some of you, there's a defense to receiving love or um, stepping into some sort of loving relationship, okay? Um, but what I'm seeing here, I feel like, bear with me here, Leo, because I've got to try and get this out, these messages. I feel like this is you and this is you, Okay. But what's happening is this person's walking along with all its gadgets and I feel like this is the different things that you've gathered, gathered along your journey, okay? Um, different experiences that you've had. You've come away with this sort of skirt thing and then the sword and this outfit and the mask and the feather and all sorts of different things, okay? And behind you is this one here ready to get you, right? And I feel like actually this is also you. Okay, I feel like this is your shadow self, but it's come out of the shadows. It's no longer in the shadows. So whether it is that you're looking at it or you've just become aware of it, you, I, I feel like it's a matter of you incorporating the fact that it is part of you rather than trying to pretend it's not there maybe or um, allow it to rule your life still. Because this is, I feel, is what is happening. And it's preventing you from stepping in to a whole new reality in your life. Fear. Part of that is fear, Leo. So, assimilate life experience. Tell me more about this for Leo, please. Assimilate life experience. Oh, that's a, that's a horse that that person has around their waist. I thought it was a skirt. I wasn't even seeing it properly. But this is the thing, right, is that it feels like sort of you've gone through life on this journey of pretending it's all okay. And like this person here, it's like, I've got a horse, I can ride the horse, but it's not a real horse. You know, and I feel like there's been parts of your life that you've gone through that um, that's a re representation of, okay. Well, we have temperance here. I want to see if I can get another card here. Assimilate life experience. One more card. 
for Leo, please. One more card for Leo for a similar late life experience. Is it going to come out? Here we go. Temperance in the Emperor. Wow. I feel as though um, with the Temperance card, Leo, there's, there's a need for you to get some sort of balance in some area of your life. There's something that's out of um, kilter, okay? I feel as though... Um, I feel as though there's so many cycles that you've gone through and throughout these cycles, again, there's been one common theme, okay? And um, whether that's been in love, whether that's been in work, um, it could be at home, it could be anything along your journey, okay? I feel as though there's been a bit of a, a sort of an, a, a real imbalance is all I'm getting about that. So, um I want to say that if you do decide, Leo, to bring love into your life, that make sure you do that in moderation, okay, because I feel as though that, or, or whatever it is that you're bringing in, okay, that sometimes when there's something new, we tend to really aim towards that and hone in on it, and um, so it's important for you to just take it everything in moderation, okay, the emperor as well. I love that this has come up. This, this is sort of like this person's dancing here like no one's watching, right? And um, I feel like these are all, all the parts of yourself, actually, that have, that have sort of, you know, you've been in your life and now here you are in this energy. And, and this is about owning this energy, okay? I feel like... Um, it's important for you, though, Leo, to soften yourself, okay? There's some sort of energy of, like, it's it's my way or the highway, in a sense. So I feel like there's a need to sort of soften yourself, okay? And maybe this is about the past selves, okay, and embracing those and be soft and gentle with those selves, okay? Because it is still you, all right? I've just seen 12 go on the time here as well. So 12 is definitely significant for some of you. Okay. Um, we've got the next one here, which is take positive action. See, here we go again with this make believe. This pretend thing of being in a boat. Um, I, I do want to say, Leo, that make sure that you are living your life in reality okay, that you're not living your life in a dream world, all right, that's one thing that I'm getting from this, but I feel as though too that the wind is changing, and yeah, there's the sense of vulnerability though, the wind is changing in, in a positive way, and it's going to take you in a really positive direction if you allow it, okay, but you're feeling vulnerable about that and I also noticed this person in the bathtub here is actually holding the sail so the direction of which you take is up to you okay because look we could be in the boat and believe that we can't control which way the wind blows okay but for you Leo you are in control and it may not feel like you are but in fact you are okay so take positive action tell me more about this for Leo please Take positive action. Yeah, so I feel like I want to say to you, Leo, get out of the bathtub, get dressed and, and step out, okay? I feel like some of you have felt like you've needed to clean up your act in a sense, and I feel as though you're clean. <laughs> you're clean, you know, and um, you, you can now go forth and proceed with what it is that you were trying to clean up, all right? Um, we've got the Knight of Voices here. So I want to say go slow, okay? Again, with this temperance, everything in moderation, go slow, okay? Um, and we also have, wow, the Knight of Materials. Okay, so... I love this. I love the night of materials because this all is, is so sort of blinged up with flowers and it's it's so joyful. Like this is 
this is very joyful. It's it's to me very um there's a spiritual aspect to it as well. There's so much growth that has happened for you, and yes, you are still learning. Okay, Ab absolutely 100 percent as we all are along this journey, right? But I feel like I feel like you're more ready than what you believe you are for whatever it is that you want to proceed with. Okay, listen to your intuition. Yes, Leo, yes. Your intuition will tell you everything you need to know. And um, and this is quite interesting because I feel like now, um, with this experience rebirth, I feel like this is going to be a new way of you living. Okay, following your intuition, following your heart rather than fighting your heart because I feel like this is what has been happening for you. Um, oh, we've had one flip over here and one jump out. So we have the Nine of Inspiration. Fantastic. Nine of Inspiration. There's this magical sense about this, Leo. A real magical sense that um, it's sort of like someone's thrown up this piece of material here and out of it has, um, this person has appeared. And again, going back to this experience rebirth, this is the new you. You've been you've been creating yourself, I feel. The chariot, wow. Yeah, the chariot. This is all about moving forward here. But again, I feel like you're in control. And if this is a matter of the heart, um, then it may feel like it's out of control and I'm wondering if this is what is scaring you here Leo um, because obviously when you have feelings for someone or whatever you know and even if it's, this is to do with work it could be a job that you're so passionate about you can't get enough of it and it could be that you've had an experience where in, in past workplaces where it's just you've always maybe felt like that or you thought you felt like that and it's turned to custard you know but I feel like this is different here Leo because I feel as though you are different you're different but there's the sense of feeling like it's going to be the same over and over again and it's better just to stay away from that and stay with what you know in your comfort zone right now because right now you're in a comfort zone okay but Leo your, your intuition, see, and, and look at this coming out here from that solar plexus area. This is your intuition calling to you. You're trying to control, you're trying to control what's going on, but your intuition is telling you a whole different story. So this is what you need to listen to, okay? Um, yeah, really start leading with your heart and your intuition, okay? explore your ancestry interesting going back to your path here seeing um leo how it is how these repeated patterns have happened not just in this lifetime for you but throughout the generations okay however it is because i'm seeing this person here there's there's a level of control here okay and this person's sort of been made to do what they are doing and do you know what I'm just getting right now is, you know those music boxes where you have the ballerina in it and you wind it up and the tune plays and they turn around and around and around? I feel like this is what this is. It's time to step out of the music box now, okay? Play your own tune. You don't have to be in that music box waiting for someone to wind you up in order to turn and, and dance, right? You can dance your own dance, whatever that looks like. You can walk to the beat of your own drum now, Leo. It is safe. It is safe. You are safe. I don't feel like you really have that trust in yourself for some reason. Um, yeah, tell me more about Explore Your Ancestry. Because, you know, Leo, how I view it, honestly, is that, that we've been through so many lifetimes now. We are the ancestors, right? So what are these repeated patterns that you have lived throughout lifetimes? Yeah. Um, 
really, really important for you to look at to see um, to see maybe how it is that people held themselves back from love, okay, held themselves back from really stepping into their own, doing what it is they wanted it to do. You know, even if this is, say, um, a family business that you are expected to go along with, you know, maybe you want to branch out and do something else. And that's okay, Leo. You may have tried different things and maybe those things didn't work out, right? So this time you're like, well, what's different about this time? Even though I have this brilliant idea and I really want to explore, explore it and I can feel it in my heart and I can feel it in my gut. But oh, all those other times it didn't work out. Do you know what? So what? You learned. You learned from those times, right? Look at it. See, assimilate these life experiences to see what you can learn from those times because you will have a toolbox of knowledge now that you didn't have at the beginning. So this is very important, okay? We've got the two of emotions pop up here. I love this. I love this, Leo. Ooh, where are we? Here we go. Oh, wow, Leo. Oh, Leo. <laughs> um... Two of emotions here. Look at this beautiful. This is combining. This is combining. This is in, in traditional tarot. This is the two of cups. Bringing something together. Because the thing is, I feel like, Leo, um, you've had your cup. You've had your cup in your hand for a really long time. And you've filled that cup with all sorts of good stuff, right? All sorts of goodies in there that you've got. Okay? And I feel as though if this is to do with love, there is someone else who has also filled their cup with all sorts of goodies as well. And do you know what, Leo? Your goodies might be different, but the fact of the matter is they're good. It's good. It's not filled with mud and murky water. It's filled with clear, beautiful water that you can both, you know, immerse yourself in. These are good emotions, right? Two of emotions, they're good emotions, and these emotions can be brought together to complement one another, okay? I feel as though the emotions that have come together in the past with different people um, have been negative emotions, whereas now we're dealing with positive emotions here. Leo, positive emotions. I love, love, love it. Love it. Okay, so strength. Look at this. Here you are, Leo. Here you are standing in your power, your almighty self right? It's going to, you know, it's going to take strength for you to trust in yourself. It really is, you know, but you've done a lot of work. You've done, you know, and, and that's not to say that oh, everything's over. You don't need to do any more. There's so much more to be done, okay? But the fact of the matter is that the lion, I feel like there's a, a you know, you being Leo, right, there's a part of you that can roar. Yes, and I feel like you're afraid of that. But I feel as though there are those of you who have done this work regarding this lion. And you've got it, you've got it nailed, man. You have it nailed. So, you know, yeah, I would give yourself a little bit more credit. And the last card here we have is Release Fear. Wow. Release Fear. Because that is really what is holding you back. That is what is stopping you from walking through this door. Okay, because look at these cards here. Look at this assimilate life experience. About to walk, walk in to another world from inside to outside. Yes, I'm sure I saw more doors here. No, I haven't. But I do see here there's two different worlds here. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. And this is you just peeking out the door like, oh, um, can anyone see me? I do, you know, with this mask over the eyes, you're like, I don't want to look at it. I don't want it to be um, because of this past fear, right? Um, yeah, and I'm just noticing that the number six here is on top of the head. And, you know, half of 12 is six. So this is like, you're halfway out the door. You need to step to, into the 12. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is cool, Leo, this is really cool, but let's tell me more about Release Fear. 
I love that you've, you've pried the door open a little bit and you're peeking out. Okay. Five of inspiration here. Five of inspiration. Okay. Um, I feel like here with this one, there's this internal battle. Okay. Um, interestingly enough, there's mirrors for each of these people to look into and none of them are looking into them. I feel as though for you, Leo, that in the past when you've looked into the mirror at yourself, all you've seen is ugly. That's the only word that's coming to me. And I don't mean physically ugly, internally ugly. I feel like you've looked at things or you've look, you, you, you look at your past and see ugly. Okay. And I want to challenge you to look at yourself in the mirror now and see the beauty. Okay. Because we have... See the good, see the work you've done, right? See all the good stuff, Leo, instead of all that ugliness, okay? Because that's there. It is there. And, and I don't mean to say that to minimise what you have been through, not at all. But you're a different person now, Leo, okay? And this queen of inspiration is here to show you that. Gender doesn't matter. Just because it's a queen, it doesn't matter, Okay? She's in control. She's in control. She's got the connection going on. She is in control. Okay, look at this leopard sitting here very calmly, right? It's like she, you know, there's just, yeah, there's so much here that is telling me that you've got this. You've got this down packed. But you're the one who doesn't believe. You don't believe in yourself, right? So that is, it's time to change. It's time to change that. Okay, so let's have a look now at the shadow healing. Wow, okay. Okay. Wow, that came out all very fast. Irritation. Irritation is the first card here, Leo. There comes a time when standing up and being counted may not necessarily resolve the issue, but it sure feels good when you're finally heard. And I just wonder if this is about you listening to yourself. Listening to your heart and listening to your intuition. Yes. Because you listen to it in other areas of your life, but there's one area that you don't listen to it in. And this is the area that you need to hear. You need to hear it, okay? Darkness. As dark as it seems, it is your choice whether to stay shrouded in the abyss or cast aside the cloak and rejoin the others in the warmth of their light and energy. Oh my gosh. Yes, Leo, I love that. I'm going to read that again to you. As dark as it seems, it is your choice whether to stay shrouded in the abyss or cast aside the cloak and rejoin the others in the warmth of their light and energy. Wow, that's perfect. Okay, and the last card here, Leo, is frustration. Restart from the very beginning and scrap everything already tried. The answer to moving beyond this irritation will only be found in exploring new ideas. Hallelujah. Excellent. That is perfect to end this with, Leo. Okay, I'm going to leave that with you. Please, Leo, give yourself the chance. You deserve it. Okay, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.